What's going on guys? Welcome to another My NBA 2K Results video. Thank you to everybody that came out to the stream on Friday and last night. And if you caught the stream last night, man, it came down to the wire again. As you see, I finished 285th, 36K plus points. Checking out the leaderboard real quick just to show you how close it actually was for the second straight week in a row. Um, about 161 points above that cutoff line. And that's pretty much just one game. I mean, you can get up to 100. 190 points obviously you can get as low as 100 when you're using your uh, hot streaks but 131 points man that is super close but we did get that magic johnson and it is an absolute awesome card so if you do enjoy the video don't forget to hit that thumbs up we are going to check out all of the draft board pulls we are going to look at pull rates we're going to check out that magic johnson and we're actually going to talk about this event a little bit you know if you've caught any of my previous videos i do not like this event very much and not just for the fact that you, I mean, obviously you can win because I got 36,000 plus points, but there's a ton of bugs and glitches in this actual game mode. The game mode takes forever, at least to me, to get through each of the matches, and it just doesn't feel very well balanced at all. Too much randomness and things like that. But I'm going to show you some glitches that I found in the actual game itself. Let me know in the comments if you experience these or if there are any other glitches that you have found as well. Also, let me know in the comments, um, you know, how y'all did. Did you get that card you wanted? What were your draft board pulls? If you want to come out and check out the Discord, post your pictures in there and check that out also in the description. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at the actual event itself. All right, so the first thing that I came across, man, as you see, um, I use stars and elites. If you do not know my deck, just because they are record setters and rookie cards, and you do have an advantage going against regular foils. So I fill my deck with stars and elites. My last three cards are legend pros. So every single game, the AI does have three legend pros, and this is one of the rounds in which they used one of them. But my elite pro, DeMar DeRozan, somehow beat that Kevin Durant legend card. Obviously, this worked out for me in my favor. And I haven't actually checked every single matchup to see if the points, you know, if who really wins won. But uh, in this particular case, I mean, it's obvious that DeMar DeRozan should not have won this. But yet, for some reason, he did get credit for the victory. I got uh, credit for my triple streak and got tons of points, even though the KD is a legend pro. And then there were some times in which I played actual games in which the cards that I matched up with weren't any of the cards in my deck. The AI is supposed to match you pretty much, it's supposed to match you tier for tier. So if you have stars and elites, the AI will have stars and elites. Well, there were some games in which I, you know, started in which they had all superstar pros, icons, legends, and things like that. And this is really frustrating because you use your hot streaks and you completely waste them. You have absolutely no shot to win this. I mean, this is, look at these rounds. This is just ridiculous. I'm playing all superstars and um, icons and legends, and there is absolutely no way to win this. I w lost all four quarters and completely wasted my hot streak and those first two things don't happen a whole lot but they still happen and it's still frustrating when this game mode should have been fixed a long time ago considering it came out a long time ago and then we probably have the most frustrating glitch of them all and that is when the ai switches the stats that it's supposed to go on for each of your players and switches them to a different player it completely messes up what support card you use. And for this example, you know, this is the very last round, the final round. I do not use my support cards in the first four rounds. So I never really noticed it until the last round, but it does happen in all the rounds, uh, believe it or not. And then in this particular case, in the last round, I used a defensive support for the Kevin Garnett, and then I used the rebounding support for the Clay Thompson. And then once the match started, you see that the thing switched. Um, Clay Thompson gets defense, and then uh, Kevin Garnett get the offense, and Hakeem Olajuwon got the rebounding, which was what Clay Thompson was supposed to get, and Clay Thompson got what Kevin Garnett was supposed to get. And for some reason, you know, it switches mine up. It makes me not use effective support cards. And then the AI uses the right support card, as you see for that Chris Paul star down at the bottom. 
um, defense, and it matches up perfectly. Now, most of the time, I still win. I mean, 95% of the time that this happens, I do win. But there are times when they use the support card on the legend, and it matches it up perfectly, switches mine to the wrong one, and I end up losing. And that is incredibly frustrating considering, again, you use hot streaks. You need this, all three matchups to win in order to get those bonus points. And just really frustrating. Here's another example. Uh, Kevin Garnett got the rebounding this time. Clay Thompson with the playmaking. And then once the match started, Kevin Garnett got the playmaking. And then Clay Thompson got the offense. And Hakeem Olajuwon got the rebounding. So just some glitches in the game, man, that I found really frustrating um, to play with. And so I really hope they get this fixed before next year. If they do continue this game mode, for next year these are definitely things that need to be fixed but uh enough of that you know let me know in the comments if you've seen anything else these are just things that i've noticed but let's jump into the actual draft board all right so the first two hours of the event i did have the rookie card perk the eye for potential and the last time i used the eye for potential i picked up like 15 rookie cards i mean the draft board was absolutely fire when it came to the rookie cards this particular time though not so much. I picked up only three rookie cards in the first two hours. Um, the first one is going to be this Dragon Bender, and then I picked up a Devin Booker Epic Prime. There was another rookie card that was a rare. I didn't take a picture of it for whatever reason and ended up deleting it. But uh, I'm, I love this Devin Booker because I love the Suns and I love him. And so I'm really happy that I picked this one up just to keep it for nostalgia purposes. But there was, I think, 20 resets, 19 or 20 resets for the first two hours. And only one of those resets was um, an actual rookie card, which was this Devin Booker. And then rares don't reset the board, so you can pick up multiple ones of those. But I only picked up two rares out of all of the draft boards. So that was incredibly disappointing when it came to um, the rookie card perk this week. Last week's or last time was good, not so much this week. First icon pull of the weekend, Artist Gilmore. This is a dupe, which is absolutely great for me, but it is a center, so not really excited. Have this card in the playoffs right now. Killing my playoffs. Um, Ray Allen, second icon, and another dupe, which is super cool. Again, stuck him in the playoffs so I can get that free legend foil. Elite LaMarcus Aldridge, Rudy Gobert. We got a Horace Grant star. Um, a star support card. Now, y'all take mental note of all of these support cards that I am getting ready to show you because this draft board or this weekend was absolutely ridiculous when it came to the amount of support cards that I pulled. Um, we got a Valanchunas Elite, a Dwayne Wade Elite Foil. I pick up this foil a lot. Uh, probably, I think, six or seven times at least this year I've gotten this one. Then we got a Dave Cohen Superstar uh, Icon Support Card. Man, these support cards are going to start flooding in. Carmelo Anthony Elite Card. Damon Stoudemire Superstar. I've wanted this card for so long. He was one of my favorite players for the longest time. Love the tattoo on his arm that they are showing. Mighty Mouse. Absolutely amazing. Really cool. Wish it was a foil. Even though I have no use for these, I still have always wanted to get it. And then we got the first legend, Ante Tecumpo, worst legend in the game, but this is a dupe, so I am happy about that. And I don't have a small forward legend pro, so this is my only small forward legend pro. So that's nice. And then Jermaine O'Neal star, we got the new David West Warriors elite card, an elite support card. And then we got the another legend pull, which is a support card, man. I absolutely hate getting support cards. Um, I've mentioned before one of the suggestions I thought for next year would be instead of getting support cards, I think this would be a good opportunity to make these coaching cards like uh, the actual coaches. Make, um, you know, historic coaches, make current day coaches, put them in the tiers, you know, just like they normally are and kind of have the support fit their coaching style instead of these boring looking support cards that nobody ever wants to get. And then another star support card. Oh, man, just looking over these is just make, giving me a headache. Miles Turner star card, another star card. I'm not taking dupe pictures of these things, man. These are le legitimately how many I'm pulling. 
And then we got a Paul Pierce superstar, DeAndre Jordan superstar, Zach Randolph elite foil, Tracy McGrady superstar, a Paul George, uh, another Ante Tacumpo elite, Wes Unseld star, another legend, Kobe Bryant. I do have this foil, which is cool. Love the guards. Um, I need guards. Need small forwards, need stuff like that. And uh, not so much on the centers and power forwards still, but shooting guard is great. I'm happy to get him. Hopefully we can get the dupe sometime. Donovan Mitchell, another support superstar. Trust me, man, I'm hitting all the tiers, all the tiers for these supports. They made sure that I had every support card in the world here. Bradley Beal, we got another Donovan Mitchell Alex English, another icon dupe, which is really cool. All of these icon dupes I put in the playoffs and my legend playoffs to get that foil. Uh, another Tony Parker, my fourth icon dupe, which is great. Tim Hardaway, a Shaq. We got a Chris Paul superstar, Pau Gasol. We got a Nurkic, uh, another star. I get this card absolutely all the time. And then we get another legend support card. I don't have this one actually. Uh, I had the icon one, so it kind of helped my deck, I want to say, but still two legend support cards. Frustrating. Russell Westbrook, elite. Damian Lillard, uh, Paul Millsap, another support card. I know y'all are getting tired of me saying another support card, but it's just ridiculous. And then a Dwight Howard, Brooke Lopez, and to finish it all off, there is that Magic Johnson. Man, that thing looks absolutely amazing. Really happy we were able to pull it off. Thank goodness, like I said, the very last moment came down to the wire again. Now let's check out these pull rates. Um, this week, I pulled the most resets I have ever done in my entire life. 343 resets. This event was an absolute grind. I don't think I've ever played more. And there were people in the Discord and stuff that, that had more points than me. And I'll definitely give them props. But... Uh, this is the most I've ever done. Um, I've finished higher rank before. I've finished in the top 150 before, but never have I had this many resets. Um, 188 ultra rare. Tons of epics, epic prime, but look at that. 11 star, 8 superstar, 5 icon, 4 legend. Actual pull rates seem pretty consistent every single week. This is the third legend plus plus event. And uh, we will compare them to overall um, pull rates, but th they seem pretty consistent, you know. 3% um, for the star, around 2% superstar, and icon and legend both at 1%, which seem to be pretty consistent. The foil's absolutely terrible. 6.4% for the um, foil cards. That is terribly low. They need to up that pull rate uh, for the foil cards. That is, that is just downright awful. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a whole bunch of pulls, whole bunch of cards, and uh, really happy about the legends, not so happy about the support cards though. Let's compare that to the first three events, all at Legend++, Plus Plus, and you see the percentages there. It is really similar to each other. There's really not much difference between any of them, so each of the first three events have stayed pretty consistent. Um, still around 1% Icon and Legend. So one out of every 100 or so reset. Well, more like one out of every 90 resets. Um, you're going to get a Legend and an Icon, which, you know, that's good or bad. That's just, it is what it is. And the, for the foils, about 8%, seven, between 7 and 8%, which is terrible. So anyway, that is all the pull rates. That's everything from the draft board. Again, let me know in the comments how y'all did your good pulls. Come out to the Discord, post the pictures if you want to see that. You know, come talk some 2K strategy. Next event, King of the Court. I am praying that they put us in a small forward and to complete the event five card lineup. But now let's go check out this Magic Johnson when he's all maxed out. Absolutely amazing looking card. The stats look great. I did calculate this in the stream. Uh, it was about, I believe, around 300 points higher than the Hakeem Olajuwon, which was the highest event card. Now the Magic is the highest event card, and this five-card lineup is looking pretty tasty, except for that Clay Thompson, but it is an event card, so we'll just let that go until they start needing dupes. Hopefully the first, uh, hopefully the first dupe 
position is going to be shooting guard. Maybe get that MJ. That would be awesome. I'd even be happy with a Kobe Bryant. But uh, got the Clay Thompson in there. Still got the Larry Bird in there just for the extra stat boost to the entire team for the generational talent and stuff. Then we got a Kevin Garnett and then the Hakeem Olajuwon. Good looking five card lineup, but that magic best card in the game now and really happy that we were able to pull that off and get that in there but that's going to do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did hit that thumbs up let me know in the comments how y'all did some polls and uh, hopefully we get a good event coming up we will stream like usual maybe even get a flash gauntlet this week that would be amazing as well Maybe get some extra cards, extra good cards, extra pulls anyway. But I will see everybody in the next video. Y'all have a great day. Sorry for this being just a little bit late, man. I did work all day today, so I am super tired. And I will check y'all later, man. I am out. Peace.